beautiful little bee just a pollinating on the flowers and finding some nectar. Aren't that beautiful? Hello everybody. Randlin, what are we doing today? I have no idea. You have no idea. Well, you guys will find out in just a little bit. It's related to something we did a couple weeks ago. Donuts. So. Nah, no donuts. Hmm. So where I decided to bring you today is called the Apple River Fort. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we actually did, went to Kellogg Grove um, Memorial, which is the last battle fought for the Black Hawk War. Uh, well, it is September for us, but it's probably like February for you. So, yeah. But anyways, um, so we decided to come check out the fort and show you guys a little bit more about the uh, Black Hawk War in this area. So we'll see you inside. So this is the Interpretive Center and Museum store. So we're going to go take a look at this, and I think it's a path that walks down to the fort. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll discover it as you do. So here we go. It says uh, 1803. Museum for Versus, no, 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 So it gives us a history on what actually happened and how the land was stolen. I mean, taken. <laughs> Ooh, peace pipes. Grinding stone. Cool. The bust of Blackhawk. That's a pretty cool painting. I like this building. It's like a log, it is a log cabin. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Hmm. This is lead or galena, raw lead ore. That's pretty nifty. And it shows all the things to smelt it and what you get out of it. Pretty cool. And this is actually the fort, which uh, stood until uh, 18. I'll see you in a second. Let's go over here and start with number one. There we go. Aberroll Fort was hastily built in May of 1832. 50 by 70 feet. That's tiny. Wow. So there you go. And this is a model of the fort. So yeah. Ooh, bear skin rug. Let's go take a look at this stuff. Yeah, Kellogg's Grove, that's where we went before. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you read all that small print that just talks about the other stuff and the victory achieved. Hmm. Here's a 
great history on everything that was around here. Makataimishikaikiak. Yeah, mm-hmm. pictures. There's this door. All kinds of good stuff. More exhibits uh, and to Fort downstairs. So we'll go there in just a second. There you go. Cool. So, that talks about that. Cool. And you got stuff in here. Look at that big giant piece of lead. That's awesome. This is a very nice man. Yeah, it is. Gun musket balls. Melted lead. Raw lead. Person, ooh, look at that old perfume bottle. That is awesome. <coughs> mm -hmm. Old child's pewter spoon. That's cool. I'm gonna show you guys the map here in a second. This is the map that shows all the battle and stuff where everybody came from. So all the way down here. Up here, this is where we were the other day at Kellogg's Grove. That's where the battle took place. That's where we live. This is where we are now, and this shows where all the Black Hawk War stuff, which is kind of cool. Pecatonica, which is weird because Pecatonica is over here. But anyways, but that's where the that battle was, and this is where they came from, over by Chicago. So now we're going to go see the fort, so we'll see you guys outside. Now we got to walk down a path 
all the way down here to the fort. But who cares? It's a beautiful day. It was raining. Thank goodness it's not anymore. So now we're going to take a walk and we'll see you when we get to the fort. Somebody's having fun on a motorcycle over here. We thought we were close, but it's a further walk than I thought. But look at this beautiful walk. If I would have known I could have driven, I would have driven. There's little things along the way. I might have to show you these as we go. So voices of the past and talks about different things. So if there's anything really cool, I'll show you, but I'll let you read this one since I stopped on it. Let me know when you're done reading. There's a dog barking. You done reading yet? You can always hit pause. All right. So we walked this whole trail. Motorcycle having all kinds of fun back here. And now we got to go all the way up here, but you can see the fort on top of the hill there. So we still got quite a ways to walk. Yeah, but there's some other buildings here to see along the way, which is kind of cool. Like this building here. So yeah, this ought to be fun. <sighs> I'm already tired. <laughs> And if you looked at the diagram earlier that I showed, this is one of the buildings. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, it's all closed up, but that's pretty cool. And obviously, this is all remade because the fort was actually lost, and they had to find it and then rebuild all of it. So, not bad. Cool old building. And if you look, it's actually right in the middle of a neighborhood with apartment buildings and houses and all kinds of stuff right here, like this little bitty house right there. That's actually a pretty cool house. Oh, it's a, a little, uh, if you look, there's a little wagon, I don't know what that was. But there's like a, a wagon with a doll in it or something. I'm like, what the heck is that? It scared me for a second there. So yeah, this is the rest of the building. I got sidetracked with that little wagon that scared me. I didn't know what that was, but yeah, more stuff to go. Raylan, this is a longer walk than I thought. Tell you about it. Well, it started back. Oh, I'll shut up. Nature Prairie Project funded by Illinois Do Not Resuscitate. Oh, I mean Department of Natural Resources. Conservation 2000 grand to protect all this and grow a bunch of weeds and tall grass and flowers. That's pretty cool. I would like to do that with my yard. But for some reason, they won't let me do that in the city. I prefer tall grass, because then I don't have to mow. So this is the fort, old school fencing, built around. And then we have the fort, and you can see how small this thing actually was. It wasn't a very big fort. Like it said in the description, only 50 foot by 70 foot, which is pretty small, especially for a fort. But you can see it's up on a hill, and it looks around so you can see all the area. Even though it's mostly trees, it protected the people that were in here for the, I think it was a 45 minute battle. I don't remember, I read, I don't remember. So yeah, let's get inside. Pretty impressive gate. Obviously this has been all rebuilt, so you uh, don't get the original buildings and fencing, but it's still pretty cool. How they can rebuild like this. That's awesome. That is a tiny little building <laughs> with a modern piece of furniture. Oh, there's a little pottery back there. I think that's a bed. I don't even know. I hope that ain't a bed because if you're sleeping on wood, <laughs> that's a joke, guys. It's not a bed. But yeah, I don't remember how many people they said lived in here, but it was a few. Oh, here's like a dining area. Maybe the house, I'm not even sure. Nice windows. Ooh. Old bottles over there. Everybody knows bottles are my weakness. Hey, I can see my reflection of my phone. Yeah. You can see the gun barrels up top. That's where the gun windows, that's where the guns come out. So they can point, it's easier to point guns out of. So, unfortunately, we can't go in here to go upstairs and see what it looks like, but here you go. This is what it looks like. Huh. What do you think, Randall? Pretty cool? Yeah. yeah. And that's it. The whole fort. 
pretty nifty. And a fire pit that's had a fire recently. Hmm. Pretty cool. So now we have to take the truck back down. Yeah. Oh, there's more of this. Ooh, they got a garden over here. Show all the probably where they grew their crops for when they lived in here. Or they're just having fun with it. So yeah. I guess that's basically it. And then there's a dirt road going to these properties down here, and that's about it. But look at this view. The camera doesn't do it justice. Big old church right there. That's pretty neat. So yeah, this is what they would see back in the days. Minus Raylan's head. <laughs> look at that view. It just goes on for days. So thanks for coming all along on this journey. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Beautiful little bee just a pollinating on the flowers and finding some nectar. Aren't that beautiful?